Hello aspiring cloud enthusiast. Welcome to this guide on how to start learning cloud computing. Whether you're a beginner or looking to enhance your skills, this journey promises a world of opportunities. Today, we will explore the foundational elements essential for mastering cloud computing. Stay tuned as we demystify cloud certifications, delve into the AWS, Azure and GCP platforms and uncover the power of hands-on practice with free tires they offer. But before we begin, if you want to be a successful cloud professional, then check out Simply Learn's Cloud Architect certification course. This course will build your AWS, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform expertise from the ground up. You will learn to master the architectural principles and services of the top cloud platforms, design and deploy highly scalable fault-tolerant applications, and develop skills to transform yourself into an AWS and Azure cloud expert. If you are interested in this program, check the link in the description box and pin comments. So without further ado, let's start with the learning path for cloud computing. By following this learning path, you will be equipped with the knowledge and skills needed to succeed in the dynamic field of cloud computing. So first, we should start with computer networking. Learning computer networking is important for understanding cloud computing for various reasons. Some of its reasons include foundation for cloud connectivity. Computer networking serves as a backbone for cloud services. It's like the highway systems connecting different cities. Without roads, that is networking, you can't efficiently travel, that is access cloud resources. Imagine your computer as a car and the network as the road that leads to the cloud. Learning networking helps you navigate this road effectively. Then next is resource sharing and collaboration. Networking allows computers to share resources like printers, files, and data storage. Similarly, cloud computing relies on shared resources in data centers. Think of it as sharing a communal printer in your office. In the cloud, resources are shared across users and applications. The next is security and performance. Understanding networking helps you secure cloud connections. Just as you lock your house, cloud networks need protection. Efficient networking ensures smooth performance. Imagine a congested highway and slow data transfer affects cloud application. So this was about computer networking. Now let's understand what is the next thing that we should focus on if we want to learn cloud computing in 2024. The next thing is virtualization. So learning virtualization is essential if you want to understand cloud computing because virtualization allows you to create multiple virtual versions of a computer or server on a single physical device. In simpler terms, it helps you make the most out of the hardware by dividing it into smaller independent units. Cloud computing relies heavily on virtualization to efficiently manage and allocate resources. By learning virtualization, you gain a foundation understanding of how to optimize hardware usage, improve flexibility, and enhance scalability. This knowledge is crucial in the world of cloud computing, where efficiency and resource utilization are key factors. All right, so this was about virtualization. Next up we have is operating systems. Learning about operating system that is OS is indeed relevant if you are driving into the world of cloud computing. Let's explore why. First, understanding cloud infrastructure. Cloud computing is built upon the foundation principles of traditional computing which includes the utilization of operating systems. A solid understanding of operating systems concepts is crucial for comprehending the fundamental infrastructure of cloud services. Then cloud operating systems. While cloud services providers abstracts much of the complexity associated with the operating systems, there are specific cloud operating systems crafted to facilitate the efficient resource allocation in cloud environments. These layers of cloud operating systems effectively manage and coordinate virtualized resources, optimization computing, storage, and networking processes. The next is significance of operating systems in the cloud. Dynamic scalability, although the cloud promises scalability, the operating system plays a pivotal role in determining how efficiently resource can scale up or down. self service and ease of access. So the operating system directly influences how users interact with cloud services, impacting aspects such as self-service functionality and overall ease of access. So this was about the operating system. Now coming to the next one, which is databases. So in databases, first we have cloud services. So cloud databases serve as the foundation of cloud services, playing a crucial role in efficiently storing and managing data. This enables seamless interaction between applications and the cloud environment. A comprehensive understanding of databases is essential for grasping how cloud platforms address data retrieval and scalability. Advantages of cloud databases. First we have is cost efficiency. So cloud databases eliminate the necessity for expensive on-premises infrastructure. 
They offer flexible cost, effective and scalable management solutions. Then 24 seven availability. The cloud databases guarantee constant access to your data, ensuring it remains always on. Integrated backup and recovery mechanisms minimize the risk of associated with downtime. Then handling large data sets. Cloud databases provide storage that dynamically expands based on requirements, accommodating significant volumes of information. So this was about the databases. Now coming to the next one, which is get cloud certifications. So companies increasingly value cloud certifications over expensive degrees. According to Pluralsight, 87% of hiring managers prioritize hand-on experience with cloud certifications over tertiary qualifications. And first we have is Amazon Web Services. AWS Certified Solution Architect, AWS Certified Developer, AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, AWS Cloud Practitioner. So these are some of the certifications of AWS that you can opt for. There are others also, but these are some of the certifications that we have mentioned. Now coming to the next one, which is Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals. First we have is Azure Fundamentals, then Microsoft Azure. Then we have Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. Then Azure Solution Architect Expert. Then Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. Along with this, there are certain other certifications also. You can have a look at them as well. Then Google Cloud Platform. In Google Cloud Platform, there is Associate Cloud Engineer, Professional Cloud Architect, then professional data engineer. So this is Google Cloud certifications. Remember that cloud certifications landscape is dynamic and new certifications may emerge. It's essential to choose certification based on your career goals. So this was about the cloud certifications. Now coming to the next thing, which is practice. Engaging in hands-on practice allows you to apply theoretical knowledge, reinforcing your understanding and helping you develop practical skills. So let's dive into free tires offered by major cloud providers, AWS, Microsoft, and Google Cloud. Let's dive into the free tires offered by major cloud providers, that is Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. These free tires allow you to explore cloud services without incoming initial cost. Here's a breakdown. First we have is AWS free tire. AWS free services include Amazon DynamoDB, NoSQL, offers 25 GB of storage, AWS Lambda, allow 1 million free requests per month. Then Amazon SNS permits 1 million publishers. In addition, there are complementary tires for various other services such as EC2, S3 and RDS, each with usage limits and specified durations. Azure free account. Users receive a limited time that is 200 US dollar credit valid for 30 days. Always free services comprise. So over 54 other services free for the initial 12 months. Then Popular services like Azure Functions, Azure Cosmos DB, and Azure Logic Apps are included in it. Alright, then Google Cloud Free Tire. So this free service includes Compute VM, provide 0.25 vCPU and 1 GB of RAM available in specific regions only. Then BigQuery SQL allows 1 terabyte of querying per month. Then Cloud Storage, incorporate 5 GB months of regional storage limited to US regions. Then exploring these offerings to US regions. Now, exploring these offerings empowers users to gain hands-on experience with cloud services at no cost. And you should give it a try. And there you have it, fellow cloud learners. We have navigated the essential of cloud computing, covering computer networking, virtualization, operating systems and databases. We have also discussed the significance of cloud certification and explored the vast landscape of AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. Remember, practice is the key. And you can start owning your skills with AWS Free Tire, Azure Free Account, and Google Cloud Free Tire. As you embark on your cloud journey, keep your curiosity alive, stay committed to the learning, and watch as the possibilities unfold. All right, guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.